Hey everyone, I'm Andrew and I'm in 4A Mechanical Engineering. And during my reading week, I usually try and decompress as much as possible. Especially when you get um, later into school, you're going to realize that your reading week is really valuable for just changing your scenery. And especially when you're in online term, instead of being at the same screen every day, same desk, it's really good to just get out and break that rhythm every now and then. So normally what I try and do is I try and plan my work so that I've finished a lot of it and I don't have to do a lot of work over reading week. And it's really good not to have that stress and not to have to think about doing work all the time when you're on reading week, because then you can go out and do stuff that you wouldn't normally do. If you're in Waterloo, it's a great time to go out and explore. Um, October in Waterloo, you know, um, Oktoberfest is coming if you're of age, and there's lots of restaurants, lots of parks, lots of good trails to enjoy. So as long as you're obeying COVID guidelines, it's really nice. Get out there, go longboarding, go biking, um, go uptown, try some of the restaurants, um, head around to the parks, Waterloo Park, Victoria Park and Kitchener, and break that, uh, break that rhythm that you're in. And you're going to really appreciate it when you get to back to school and you feel decompressed and you're ready to go again. If you're at home, same thing. Try and break out of your rhythm, you know? Go to some place that you haven't been before, explore around town, maybe see if you can go on a little trip, you know? If, uh, especially with co-op, and once you have a bit of money and you can save for those kind of things, it's a great time to go out and go camping, um, go to a different city, go explore around, or even just visit friends from high school. I hope that helps, and I hope everyone decompresses a little bit every week. Hello, my name is Irene, and I have a few tips I'd like to share about making the most of your reading week. Um, reading week is a blessing. <laughs> it's a great time to just relax and do things that you aren't able to do during the school year. Um, that's what I'll be focusing on. So what I like to do is I like to just do things I can't do while I'm studying, basically, and that's a lot of things. <laughs> um, I like to go visit my friends back home, um, go see them, catch up with them, and if I can't see them, then just make time to, like, even FaceTime them, just talk to them. Um, I like to do that during my weeding week. I like to, well, well it depends on the season, um, but during the fall season, whether it be going to go like get a pumpkin or like just going on adventures that I can't do while I'm in school I like to make the most out of so I'll just go on one on one or two adventures during the week um to really relax and get my mind off of studying for a bit um but also having that balance that when you come back from your relaxing time that you have a schedule to maintain before you go into your midterms um and so what I like to do is I like to plan my reading week like by day to make sure that I do have enough time to study for my exams. But focusing on that you do have time to relax because this is a time to relax. And I mean, if you're behind on work, take the time to catch up. That's totally okay. But do take the time to take a break because you do deserve it from working hard. And even if you haven't been working hard, your brain burns out. So don't burn out and just enjoy reading week as much as you can. So that's my tip. You've been working super hard for a month and a half and now you've reached reading week. During reading week, you try to probably crunch all the extra study time that you want because you have lots of exams when you go back to school. But another thing during reading week that is super important is to learn to relax and just breathe a little. One thing I found really helpful was to give myself a schedule and to dedicate times to study and to balance some time to relax. I would schedule in the times that I'd hang out with friends or just dedicate it to some hobbies such as baking, playing some games, because it's really important to not burn out during that week because maybe you felt really behind during the term and you want to catch up, but it's really important to not overdo it.